In this tutorial, I'm going to go over the planar joint with a simple example. Let's come over here to our joints. And the first thing I want to do is select the face that I want to actually constrain. So I'm going to rotate this a little bit. And I'm going to select this underside. And with that selected, I can now come to component 2. So I'm going to select this right here. And I'm going to select this top face. And from here, the third thing that it wants me to select is the location. So I'm going to click on this point right here where, where all these three edges touch. And as you can see, I'm getting a preview of exactly where that is. So I can hit this animate button and it's going to continue to, to turn this point this uh, block and the point really is just a point of reference so I'm gonna hit OK and I can move my block and as you can see it's giving me dimensions from that point so I can move this in the X and Y direction and I'm getting different uh, values based on where I move it and if I look at this from the side you can see that my constraint is successful and that that point is really just a point of reference for the dimensions.